How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite and this is the Silverstone Precision Series 15B. This is an affordable and compact micro ATX enclosure. So let's talk about why you might want to consider this case for your next budget bill. So the PS15 comes in four variants, three of which have tempered side glass panels, but the PS15B comes in black with a steel side panel. Now, if you're trying to decide between the four models, the PS15 is the least expensive of the bunch at 50 US dollars. From there, the mid-tier models in black and white with tempered glass are a little bit more expensive around 65. And the tempered glass black version with RGB is around 80 US dollars. In the front, you have a mesh panel that supports two 120 millimeter fans and radiators up to 240 millimeters. Your top I.O. of course includes your power button, two USB 3 Type-A ports, a mic jack, and a headphone jack. On the inside of the case, you have mounting points for two 2.5 inch drives and a caddy for a 3.5 inch drive. The PS15 also supports standard ATX power supplies and mini ITX motherboards. It also includes a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. In addition, you have a magnetic dust filter on top and a removable dust filter on the bottom for your PSU. Now, as far as your graphics card, you should have about 314 millimeters to play with, which is about 12.3 inches. Finally, for your CPU cooler, you have about 154 millimeters of space. The case weighs about eight pounds, so not super heavy. The exterior panels have a little flex to them, but you should be fine under most normal circumstances. Now, let me be clear. For $50, the build quality of the PS15 is great. There are a few things on the surface that I'm not really crazy about. Now I'm nitpicking here, but the Silverstone branding on the bottom with the blue LED is not my cup of tea. The only other gripe I have about the case is the fact that the PCIe expansion covers snap off and you can't reattach them obviously. So not a deal breaker, but I like having the option. So at $50, I can easily recommend the PS15B for a budget gaming build. I would only go with the tempered glass version of this case unless you have internal RGB components. But even if you decide to go with the PS15B, you still have RGB opportunity with the front mesh panel. I do have a build planned for this case. I'm just waiting for other components to arrive, of course, due to human malware. Supply chains have been disrupted and it's taken a little bit longer for components to ship. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. So when that video posts, you'll get the final verdict of this case and you'll get to see what I put together. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. If you have any questions about the PS15B, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Oh, and before I forget, I bought this case with my own money. But Silverstone, if you are watching, how you doing? But yeah, that's all I got. Stay tuned for more Silverstone PS15B content. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.